All right, so we're almost there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wire our LEDs, so our, our eyes, so that they light up. And uh, we're going to use the other sliding single pole double throw switch to do that. So we're going to take our needle nose, and again, we'll put a little loop in the white wire that we had remaining from our previous, that we made earlier in the videos. And we're going to loop that around one of our remaining contacts on our single pull double throw switch. And again, it's a little tricky. You want to make sure that you get a, a pretty tight loop. Um, and then you'll, you'll push it around that contact. And once you've got it on there, you can take your single uh, sorry, you can take your uh, needle nose pliers and just make sure that it's crimped tightly against the terminal that's exposed from the switch there. And again, you want to make sure that it's not touching any of the other terminals. So if it is, uh, the switch will always stay on and it won't work properly. So, okay, so I'm just twisting it very tightly here to make sure that it's very firmly connected. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to connect another wire to our resistor leads from our LEDs that we created earlier in the previous videos. And I'm going to go ahead and bend this other terminal on the switch out of the way that we don't need. And again, that's the one that's, that's on the far side of the sliding switch there. Okay, so now we have our, our wire from our battery, which is our, our negative wire. And we're going to connect back to our resistors. And we're just stripping off a little piece of, we're using the white wire again. I'm going to strip off a little piece of the white wire there. And again, we'll take off about a quarter of an inch on both sides. And three eighths of an inch will work too. Uh, generally speaking, if you take just a little bit more insulation off, it's a little easier because you have a little bit more wire to loop around. But it also means that you have more that you have to cover up once you're done. So. Uh, it's kind of uh, tricky, but a uh, quarter of an inch works for me. In any case, you uh, can just use the wire strippers there and pull the, the wire. If you wiggle it around a little bit, it'll, it'll come out and uh, strip off the wire there. And again, we're going to take our needle nose pliers and we're going to loop these around and create the loop to go over the terminal there. Once we have the loop done, We'll use our needle nose pliers to crimp it in place. Okay, so once it's crimped in place, we can hot glue it. Now, one of the things I should have done is I should have tested to make sure these contacts were in fact um, tightly connected before I hot glued it. But uh, I was pretty sure they were, so I went ahead and hot glued it in the interest of time. But when you're making this, you're going to want to test that switch. And uh, you can use the LEDs there to make sure that everything is connected properly before you hot glue it because again if it's not it's more of a pain to take the hot glue out and, and redo everything. Okay so now we're going to connect our LEDs to the remaining wire that we have on our switch and that's going to allow us to complete the circuit and turn on the eyes of our spout bot. So we can take the two uh, leads from our resistors and touch them there and make sure that all the uh, power is flowing how it, is, how it should be. And uh, so you can see how the switch will allow us to turn that on and off. And so we're going to twist those resistor leads together. And then we're going to wrap them around the white wire, the exposed uh, part of the white wire. And uh, that will allow us to complete the circuit and light up the, light up the LED lights or the eyes of our spout bot. Okay, so once the eyes have been connected and the wires are twisted together, uh, we want to make sure they're twisted very tightly together. We'll uh, make sure the wires that are exposed are separated so they don't short. And then we're going to turn the switch on and off and see if our eyes light up. And they do. So we cut a little piece of electrical tape about a half of an inch square. And we're going to use that electrical tape to basically cover over the exposed wire that we just uh, twisted together to ensure that it stays connected and that it's insulated. 